Last time I wired six of these. All right. Last time I wired 60 of these guys in parallel just to see what'll happen. I'd like to try another experiment with these banks of 10 I created. I'm gonna put them all in series and see if I can weld with them using standard welding rod. And then, because it's near the 4th of July, we'll see what happens if we run some current through these sparklers. Okay, each one of these banks is wired in series with the next by connecting the positive terminal to the negative terminal of the next one. In addition, I've got multimeters set up so that I can monitor the health of each of the banks. And I've got the fluke multimeter here showing the overall voltage of the whole stack. So you can see each one's reading about five. I've got one of them wired backwards and the overall voltage is 31 volts. Each bank consists of 10 supplies in parallel, so it can do a total of five volts at 20 amps. I have six banks, so if I connect them all in series, I can get 30 volts at 20 amps. Alternately, I could combine them in other ways for 15 volts at 40 amps or 10 volts at 60 amps. But for this video, I'll use the maximum voltage at a lower current. It seems like the arc will sustain, but it's very hard to strike and can easily blow out. With the welding rod positively charged, it seems like the metal balls up on the end of the rod and the sustained puddle of metal isn't happening. Reversing the voltage doesn't seem to have much effect either. It's still very difficult to strike and has spotty results. Looking at the meters, even when the arc is sustained, the voltage of the supply is dropped down below three volts. I've also noticed that longer sticks are easier to sustain an arc with. With a thinner base metal, I'm actually able to sustain the arc and perform a short weld. It's still very difficult to strike though. I believe what's happening is that the supplies are trading voltage for current in order to maintain the power output of 10 watts each. Something interesting to note is that there are no ribs in the welds, they are smooth. Whereas normally with arc welding, you get a little ridges along the weld. What I would rather have is a supply that works to maintain the voltage by sacrificing current, or ideally a supply that I could program to regulate in various different ways during the arc. For instance, it could start with a higher voltage, like 70 or so, and regulate that for a few seconds until the arc has started, then switch to a current regulation mode. As for these sparklers, I was hoping the extra energy emitted by the sparkler would help the welding process, but it just stuck to the workpiece and got hot enough to light the coating from both ends. Well, I think that's enough abuse for my poor power supplies. I'm not sure what I'll do with them next, but it's been fun to hook them up and try and figure out what's required to sustain an arc for welding. Thanks for watching. Ready?